continue our week-long series to celebrate the season. We brought in our chief canine correspondent, you know who it is, Pickles, for a special Pickles Pig segment. Lee's here to explain. Yes, now Pickles is still sleeping after all this work, but normally Pickles and I pick a pet at the Humane Society every week to get adopted. But today's pet is currently with a foster volunteer, and that's what we want to focus on, how these volunteers bring needy animals into their homes so they, too, can celebrate the season with a loving family. Because holidays are for family and for your pet. And right now, Leanne Carollo's family includes this new mommy dog, Phoebe. When they got old enough to separate, um, we took Phoebe in to let her recover from the whole um, nursing process. Carollo has opened her home to foster animals for four years. She knows fostering at any time is a special gift, but especially at the holidays. We foster them because we want to give them the love and attention and care um, that they deserve, that they all deserve. So if we can get one out of a cage and bring to our house, that's what we like to do. Phoebe joins the Carollo's other four dogs, two cats and four kids, and she fits right in. So every night, she tries to get in the bed. Like, she puts her front feet up on, up on the bed and just, she's, she's very quiet. We've taught her to sit. We, um, she didn't know, like, her manners. So we make all the dogs, all five of them sit. My husband's great at it. He puts one, two, three, four, five. He gives them all treats. At first, she was, like, grabbing everyone's treat. Um, now she sits there. She waits. The Humane Society of Tampa Bay saves more than 10,000 animals a year and couldn't house them all without these foster volunteers. We really do rely on our foster parents to put some weight on our underage babies, bottle feed, provide medical care, um, and just give our animals some love. So soon, the pets have a forever home for the holidays. Usually on the way home, I cry. You know, because it's sad. Like, it's very sad to bring them back, but you know they're going to good homes. Well, Phoebe, you hopefully have a home for the holidays now that you have your Pickles Pick bandana. And if she's not a foster fail, she'll be up for adoption right here at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. Oh, and by the way, a foster fail is when the foster family ends up adopting that animal, and you can bet that happens quite often. Now, the Humane Society uses 200 to 300 foster volunteers, and folks, they always want and need more. And keep in mind, there's some shelters that operate completely on fosters. That's actually where I got pickles from the Canine Castaways, which is foster-based. So if you have a little room in your heart, in your home, I have details on a few shelters and how you can contact them to be a volunteer at WFLA.com and also on our app. But Opening your home to the holidays is exactly what we celebrate this season. And yeah. what a perfect time of year to do it, too. With mm -hmm. the pandemic going on, a lot of folks aren't able to see some of their friends mm -hmm. and family this year because they're not traveling. So get a little extra love by having an animal in your home, a little pet for you. Lee Spin had a lot of fun on that assignment. <laughs> Definitely. So did Pickles. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. Y'all, this morning it is perfect weather to go outside with one, two, three, four.